there welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in so today i am going to be doing a video on what it was like buying a home so my home buying process i got a request from someone who commented under one of my videos under my previous video about my military experience and they asked me if i could do a video on the va home loan so i figured i will just talk about the va home loan and my home buying process today with you guys if you are new to my channel please do not forget to like comment and subscribe let me know your thoughts and let me know if you have any requests on any videos you would like for me to do so when i first started looking at homes i was mainly looking on zillow realtor.com just looking at homes in the area i felt like i wanted to buy i looked at a home the very first home that caught my eye and i contacted a realtor about it on zillow.com they have an option for you to contact an agent and that's basically what i did i reached out to an agent it actually ended up being a female um, her husband was also a realtor so they kind of like work together very unprofessional i don't feel like they are people that i trusted with my whole home buying process especially being that i was new you know you want to feel like you have a realtor or agent that you can trust and i didn't really feel like i trusted them so i switched realtors i actually seen a different home that i liked i contacted another realtor for that home and she was amazing like throughout the whole process she was very patient with me she walked me through step by step she was very honest very trustworthy you know that's the vibe i got from her and she proved me right she was really good and i'm so glad i'm so lucky that i didn't get too deep into it with those realtors to where it was too late to kind of like pull out it's never really too late because like I said, you want to make sure you're working with somebody that you can trust, but I'm glad I got those feelings like in the beginning so that way I didn't get too far in with them to where I felt like, oh man, it's kind of too late to switch. So I went with my realtor, her name is Ashley, and she was great. She was great. Amazing. Okay, y'all. So make sure you guys never settle. I looked at homes for months before I finally found one that I felt like, oh my goodness, this meets my standards, it's beautiful, it's perfect for my daughter and myself, like, it's just great, and I love that for me, because, <laughs> um, it was tough, you know, it was tough, there was a lot of homes I felt like I like, you know, I really like, but, um, either it just didn't work out, or it wasn't like, oh this is this is my dream home like this is what is meant for me i remember there was one home we actually tried to get i really really liked that home but it ended up selling to someone else and we couldn't even get our hands on it fast enough so <clears throat> excuse me guys my voice is a little raspy because i had a cold last week i'm still kind of healing from it don't fall in love too soon unless you know you got it kind of like on lock um and you're locked in with a contract and you're in the process, don't fall in love with the home because you might end up heartbroken over that home. And that's what happened to me with that house. But anyway, little did I know I was in for a treat because I ended up finding something way, way better that I really love. When I first found this home, it was under contract, but their deal didn't, their deal fell through. So it didn't end up selling to them for whatever reason they the deal just didn't work out and the this home came back on the market so i'm like wow this home is definitely for me for it to not sell and this is a really nice home you know and for it to not sell and then come back on the market i'm like oh my goodness like i was so excited i called my realtor i told her he's like oh my goodness you know we can go look at it i think one day we went to look at it like on my lunch break or something we came we looked at it and I told her I don't want this home. So she put in an offer for it and I had to um, pay what's called earnest money. Earnest money is kind of like a down payment that you end up getting back on the back end, but it's like you're showing um, you're serious about the home. So 
you have to put the earnest money down to show that you're serious about buying this home and that you're gonna go through, through with the process. So everybody's not just, you know, wasting their time and everything and dealing with you and dealing with this whole process if you're not really gonna go through with it. So I believe I paid about a thousand dollars in earnest money and then the process began. We had to have an inspector come out and inspect it. We also had an appraisal done on it. An appraisal is to um, estimate the home of value, which it ended up being like five grand less than what she was trying to sell it for. And with the VA home loan, um, from my experience, they only pay for what the home is worth. So whatever the appraiser found it to be worth, that's what the VA home loan is gonna cover. So I didn't have to pay the extra five grand like she wanted, but it is a process. You know, you have to go back and forth and ask her. I say her because I know the previous owner was a female. My agent went back to her agent and let, let them know what it appraised for. And then they decided that they would agree to that amount. So it, it was just five grand less, you know, to some sellers, that's a huge deal to some, it's like, okay, whatever. So that's what they're praised for. She ended up accepting the offer. And then we did the inspection. The inspection came back great. There were a few repairs that needed to be made. The previous owner was willing to make those repairs. So we got those out the way and everything else was good. Like all of the major things in the home like everything was good with that so then that's when we got the paperwork started so my realtor actually put me in touch with a mortgage company and they became my lenders for my va home loan they had dealt with a lot of va home loans before and they were a pretty reputable mortgage company they had great reviews i did my research because i didn't just want to go off of you know what my realtor was telling me which she she is very trustworthy but i still wanted to do my research and um everything was great so you go through a, an approval process where they will basically make sure you are eligible for your va home loan they will check your credit and let you know the amount that you are approved for so then when you're looking for a home you just look within that range that you got approved for you want to definitely stay under that number unless you plan on coming out of pocket with any extra money for your home that the VA home loan isn't going to cover. All right, so your VA home loan is basically guaranteed when you are a military member or if you are a veteran, it's guaranteed unless you did something you weren't supposed to do to get that benefit taken away from you. And even then, I'm not sure if it can be taken away, but I'm pretty sure it's possible if you've done anything to get into some serious trouble. But other than that, it's there for you. It's available to you and you just have to do what you have to do on your part to secure it by getting in touch with a lender or a mortgage company or a bank, whatever you choose to go through and getting a realtor to you know help with the home buying process and walk you through everything and show you homes and help you decide. So the only thing that I had to provide to my mortgage company to kind of like secure my VA loan and let them know that I was eligible is called a certificate of eligibility. It's kind of like a letter, letter or certificate um, that shows that you are eligible to receive um, the VA loan. I obtained that through eBenefits and you activate it and you request a certificate of eligibility and they will provide that to you and then you just send it to your mortgage company. After that they were able to run my credit and let me know how much I was approved for like how much they were willing to let me borrow to get a home. There were times guys throughout this process where i would get so discouraged and i'd be like oh my gosh this is this is kind of stressful you know this is a little too stressful for me maybe i should just wait maybe i should call it off no stay the course you know if this is something that you want you want to be a own homeowner you want to buy a home this is what you're feeling in your heart then stay the course i was in an apartment before this and it was a luxury apartment it was nice but i still told myself like i just feel it in my heart i'm ready to be a homeowner i want to raise my daughter in a home i want to be a homeowner 
so I wasn't gonna settle for the apartment if that's not what I felt you know I wanted at the time I wanted to go ahead and get the process started and I'm happy I did here I am a year and some change later in my home and it still feels so surreal but yeah I felt I was ready I even paid to break my lease um, to get out of that apartment and to move into my home so it's just like one of those things you feel like when you're ready you're ready it is stressful it's a lot of paperwork that goes into buying a home there was always you know she was always sending me paperwork and most of the paperwork um, will be digital you can just send documents through email through DocuSign or whatever and it's so easy to just go in there and sign them and everything make sure you read what you're signing um, they will let you know what interest rate they will send back their inspection report they will send a whole bunch of documents that you have to sign just to buy the home there will be a lot of documents involved i'd be lying if i sat here and said i remember every single document that i signed but just know there is a lot it does get kind of stressful very overwhelming but very worth it in the end i think it took us about a month to close it was around like mid to late november where i found out this home had came back on the market so but we weren't able to close um at the end of december like we should have because you know it was christmas so everybody was off everybody took a break so we were like you know what we'll just close at the beginning of january so that's when we ended up closing and that was my process <laughs> I hope this video was helpful and if you are in the process of buying your first home, good luck in your home buying process. If you have any recommendations for future videos, please let me know. If you have any questions, please comment them below and I will do my best to answer your questions. Please like, comment, subscribe and I will see you guys next time.